Welcome, welcome back. Bienvenue and all that jazz. It's time to talk about some books that you were able to recommend to me. So, whoo, dying over here. So recently on my Twitter and my Instagram, I saw a bunch of people doing that 12 books recommended by 12 friends type thing. And I thought that that would be kind of fun, but I wanted to put my own little twist on it. And so I just posted and asked for people to recommend me books, preferably fantasy, but I was open to whatever. And I got 35 different book recommendations. So what this little video project will end up turning into is basically today I'm going to go through and use a random number generator to choose books I'm gonna choose 12 of them and then I'll put those 12 books on slips of paper into a fun little mug and then every TBR, since I do monthly TBRs, I will pull one book out that I will read during that month that was recommended to me by you. So without further ado, let's see what we have here. So like I said, I got 35 different recommendations. So I'm setting the random number generator and the first book is number 31. Okay, so this is Ogres by Adrian Tchaikovsky, which I know absolutely nothing about. So let's go look it up. <laughs> okay, so Ogres sounds interesting. It's almost like maybe dystopian-y from the like description that I'm getting. So it sounds like basically Ogres rule the world now. And so there's like landlords that are Ogres and one of them is trying to come and get the like payment that they're due or whatever and so somebody's son tries to rise up against the ogres and we all know i love a good rising against the empire type trope so we'll see like i know i've heard a lot about adrian tchaikovsky because of elder races right it's like a novella or something and i hear a lot about is he the one who wrote the shadows of the apt or something like that and then i recently do I have a book by him? Oh, he recently came out with City of Last Chances and I heard I had the arc for it that I didn't get around to yet. But I recently saw the review of it over on Alan's channel from the Library of Alexandria. So like, I guess I'll be maybe potentially trying Ogres. So the next roll is 21. And number 21 is Empire of Exiles. This is by Aaron M. Evans. I want to say this is a new release. Didn't it just come out? Okay, yeah, so I'm correct. Empire of Exiles did just recently come out. It came out in November, November 8th of 2022. So this one, I I think I had it on an anticipated reads list. It sounds very much like murder mystery mixed with fantasy. So it sounds like at some point in the past, there was like this revolution that happened. And so now in current day, somebody was sent to gather some artifacts that were banners that were used in this revolution and while they're going about this task some kind of murder happens and then we get kind of thrown into maybe a murder mystery plot it sounds very much up my alley it's blurred by r.a salvatore which i mean hello forgotten realms love so sweet we're getting some good ones i wasn't expecting ogres but empire of exiles we're here for it next roll is 36 oh god <laughs> So I was just talking to my friend Theo earlier today from a Rekindled Reader and I was like, you never gave me any recommendations. And so, of course, uh, the one that gets chosen is the kind of chunky, I think it's historical fiction by Bernard Cornwell. So this is book one of the Warlord Chronicles, which I... Okay, so at least he did me a solid because this one sounds like maybe it's historical fiction slash fantasy because it sounds like it's some kind of King Arthur-ish retelling. We're dealing with the High King. He's died, leaving an infant as his only heir. And so his uncle Arthur is kind of caretaking the country. And there's romance with Guinevere. And it's questions of will Merlin be enough to turn the tide of war in his favor. I feel like I've heard that this author is much more historical fiction. So I'm expecting if there's any old world magic that it's going to be very light on the magic. So I'll set my expectations at historical fiction, and if it turns out being historical fantasy, phenomenal. But if it's not, that's okay too, I guess. Okay, time for the next roll. Boop! Number five is... Guns of the Dawn. So I guess next year is just going to be the year of Adrian Tchaikovsky. This was recommended by my friend from Instagram, Miss Alicia. And this is another one that I know very little about. 
I think this is one that a lot of people, I think Kay from Kay's Hidden Shelf was talking about maybe reading it. And so maybe this one will turn into a buddy read one, which if it does, then I'll come back and I'll do another roll to replace this one because that's not fair. But I don't know anything about it. I tend to be hesitant. So me and guns and fantasy, mm, it's just not my favorite thing ever. So this one sounds almost like we're following this main character, Emily, and she gets conscripted into the army and kind of thrown onto the front lines. And she starts to have questions about whether or not her side is on the winning or on the like morally correct side because it sounds like there's some kind of conflict between revolutionaries and these like warlocks or maybe people who supported the king I really don't know so I don't know I do get into some like revolution type fantasy but guns are not usually my favorite but but it's on the list now so, <laughs> so let's just do the next roll we have number 16, which is The Golden Key. And this is by three different authors. And I know nothing about it, so let's go find it. I think it's three female authors, which we love to see. I think maybe it's more classic fantasy, which we all know I like some classic fantasy. And it was published in 1996, so yes, we're getting the classic fantasy vibes. This is by Jennifer... by Memily... <laughs> <laughs> by Melanie Ron, Jennifer Robertson, and Kate Elliott. And it just has a one paragraph little blurby blurb, so let's look. Okay, so this one sounds interesting. So this is like almost like painting art as magic. And so it's a gift that's passed down through families and somebody is deciding to use this magic for nefarious purposes and I'm sure in sh shenanigans ensue. So cool. I love me some classic fantasy by some female authors. We're here for it. Up next is number 10. And this is our first self-published pick. So this is The 13th Hour by Judy Skies. I want to say that this one is now a Spiffbo finalist, the self-published fantasy blog off, I think. And this is one that gets recommended to me a lot because I love, like, the Gods Among Us trope. And I think, I want to say that this is one of those ones that gets re recommended to me. I mean, it's the series is called The Cruel Gods, so if there's not Gods Among Us, I'm rioting against you Esme for recommending me this book so there better be it sounds very gods among us I'm here for it. it sounds like we're in some kind of maybe steampunky vibes and there's these gods that are considered cruel obviously the cruel god series hello <laughs> we're spouting revolutionary material up in here today <laughs> but it sounds like they demand worship and so somebody lost their faith in them and it's almost maybe trying to protect people from these gods and then she discovers that she may have divine powers and so it sounds like adventures ensue trying to figure out what her powers are doing before the gods get involved and maybe put a stop to it so okay thanks Esme. Then the next role is number 20. Oh interesting so number 20 is City of Stairs by Mr. Robert Jackson Benet. I think it's actually Bennett but <laughs> okay so you people are looking out for me today so City of Stairs sounds like another maybe potentially gods among us or the gods were among us because it sounds like in this city it was once protected by these gods who um like protected it with their divine powers and so the city is like transformed by the miracles that these different guardians had bestowed upon it throughout the years and so it sounds like when we're starting in this story our main character Shara is entering this broken city and she's supposed to be a junior diplomat but she's out here to get some spying on and things ensue. It says a tale of vast conspiracies, dead gods, and buried histories. I'm a world building slash lore driven reader with the gods among us trope. Thank you. <laughs> then up next is number six. Okay. And this is Queen of Blood by Miss Sarah Beth Durst. This is by one of my fellow co-hosts of the Cosmere Along, Jesse, the bookish mom. And this one I have heard about for quite a while. I want to say I heard about it from Jashana? Maybe Elle? Don't know. One of them. So the Queen of Blood, it sounds like there's really cool... I want to say when I heard about it, it has like atmospheric, magical, foresty type vibes. It sounds like there's different spirits and these spirits want to like murder the humans and so there's some kind of tenuous peace and... I don't really want to know too much about this one. It just sounds like it's going to be fun, magical forest vibes, and I'm here for it. So we have four more to go. So let's see. Roll number nine is getting some repeats now. I think number 14 is roll number nine. So this is 
Soulless by Gail Carriger. So this one I heard about originally from Jashana. She screams about it all of the time. It is kind of, it's urban fantasy, but I think it's like set in like a historic period. I think she recommended it to me because of my love for Anita Blake, but the person who recommended it for this particular situation is um, somebody who's always in my comments, Master Sal. Thanks, Master. Uh. <laughs> and I think it's going to give me the Anita vibes, but maybe more with a historical time period. And so I love me some urban fantasy. We are here for it. I think there's snarky characters. Yes. The next role is number 22, which is Kai... <laughs> Kai K? One second. We're looking up the freaking pronunciation of this. How to pronounce Kai? Kai he. <laughs> no way. Kai he. Kai he. We're gonna go with it. Kai he. <laughs> I tried, okay? Don't come for me. This one is like another historical fantasy, maybe set in like, I think it's a retailing of. Indian folklore? Okay, so I, it does sound very historical fiction-y, and so I'm gonna kind of go into it, maybe expecting maybe a Book of Gothel type situation. I'm imagining that we're gonna maybe have some fantastical framework to really explore womanhood, or I don't really know, like I haven't heard a ton about it. It sounds like she has to deal with evils from her childhood in a not so great family situation because her dad banished her mom and so I don't know we'll see we'll see then up next is number 35 <laughs> if there's one that I was maybe semi hoping that wouldn't get picked it was this friggin book so it's a man called Ove Ove a man called Oven I have no idea <laughs> it's by Frederick Bachman and this is very contemporary fantasy and this is again Theo's friggin fault. I even made a, f a joke about how watch all of your picks Kent chosen. I friggin should have said nothing. <laughs> what is this book even about? It's about an old man or something? I don't know. Let's look. Yeah. A grumpy yet lovable man finds his solitary world turned on its head when a boisterous young family moves in next door. Meet Ove? I don't know. He's a curmudgeon, the kind of man who points at people he dislikes as if they were burglars caught outside his bedroom window. So it sounds like we're gonna have Grumpy Man maybe telling his life story. I really don't know. We'll see. Thanks, Theo, I guess. <laughs> How many more do I even have left? This is the final roll. Boop! Okay, number 28. And this is Magic's Pawn by Mercedes Lackey. I feel like I hear about Mercedes Lackey all the time, so hopefully this is a good place to start with her because I feel like she has a pretty expansive world in which to delve, which is great for me. So hopefully I love her and then just want to read everything. And this cover is living up to my like horse girl fantasy from when I was younger. I'm here for it. It's book one of Valdemar, the Last Herald Mage. Okay, so this one sounds interesting. So we have our main character, Von Yell who has been born with this ability to work two different kinds of magic, both herald and mage magic. But he want, he just wants to be a bard and live his hippy-dippy life going and playing songs for people. But his magic, if left untrained, can screw people up. And so he gets sent off to be fostered with his aunt, who is one of these famed herald mages of Valdemar. So, I don't know. It sounds like maybe he will have a little bit of a rebellious streak. It'll be a coming-of-age tale. That sounds like a fun time. So that marks all 12 books, I think. Let's double check. Yes. So that is all 12 books. So I will put those books on little slips of paper. I'll put them in a mug. I think I'll put them on my Lord of the Rings the Musical mug because why not? And then every time I do a monthly TBR, I'll pull one of these out to add to my TBR. Thank you so much for participating and give me a bunch of books that you think I would like. I definitely won't throw out the rest of the recommendations. Obviously, when I feel like it may be every once in a while I'll just come back on here and pick one of the books that wasn't chosen for the main 12 month project or maybe I'll do two recommendations a month if I'm feeling spicy but other than that I think that'll do it for today's video again just thank you so much for participating it's always fun to have books that I can talk with you guys about and so it's just fun to let you guide a little bit of my reading I'm obviously a rebellious spirit and so we'll see if I stick to actually reading every book every month 
I'm pretty good about sticking to a TBR though, so I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But before I get off on too ranty of a tangent, just thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more bookish shenanigans like this from moi. Other than that, I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye! <laughs>